Hello and welcome back everybody, I'm Warren Rapavain and this is Crusader Kings 2 where we return as Duke Power of, of uh, Croatia, of all of Croatia in fact. Uh, so much so that I will indeed be able hopefully to push through a claim for the Kingdom of Croatia because, and I mean this is just a bit odd, but look at this. I don't know where he gets 108% plot power, but I will take it. I just need him to join me and then we are in a position to actually, you know, try to fabricate one. Sometimes that goes wrong, but let's hope that it works out this time. Now, beyond that, I think we are in a tremendously strong position. If I can just get this one going, we will immediately become the King of Croatia. And as the King of Croatia, of course, we will become also the Lord of all that is good, the Lord of all Balkan. Now, that aside, um, I noticed off camera that you're being educated in my court, but by a lady that is, uh, you know, she may be Queen of Egypt, but she is not the right religion. So I'm going to educate you myself, my friend, and I should probably also already, you know, why don't we go to struggle, there you go. Struggle a bit, fella. Alright, let's take a look here. Can we get this done? That's the big question. Can I push this through? Aye, aye, aye. Not only have you failed to fabricate a claim on the Kingdom of Croatia, but your efforts have been discovered. King Arpad Laszlo uh, the fourth is none and none too pleased. God damn it. Why don't we try again? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what I'm here for. Bringing the true faith and salvation to others is among the holiest of duties. Therefore, we ask of you to construct a new church in your land so your subjects may have somewhat to say, somewhere to say prayers and worship. Alright, I'm gonna build a church and I'm gonna build a church right here. This is Church County. Alright, let's try this again, shall we? There we go. Let's go, we've done it. Strong claim on Croatia and with a strong claim of Croatia, you know how it goes. I will immediately make things happen because every good thing that has ever been done starts with an independent, uh, with not even an independence faction, just with a faction to become the king of Croatia. Now, how do you feel about this, Hungary? Then war it is. No matter how many corrupted souls you have enticed to help carry out your plan, I will not give in without a fight. I'd rather die defending what is rightfully mine. Well, well, well. While he is at war with Aperus, while he was, you know, meeting women, we were studying the blade, and we were also studying theology, and both will now, you know, kind of land us a, a good old gig as the king of Croatia, because the church approves of us, and our army approves of us, and I think that is all the approval that we need to become the king. I can't stop thinking of all those prisoners in my dungeon. They are at my complete mercy. What a thrill it would be to hurt them. To hear the sweet screams, to see the panic in their eyes. See, we are a cruel person. We are not a good person. But we have focused on theology in recent years, and we have turned into a zealous man after the crusade, and I personally at least believe that we are in a situation where he will try to resist his foul impulses. Uh, impulses. You know, at the end of the day, he is a cruel person. He's not a good person, but he's also a person that knows... Sometimes you have to overcome that. I've now been at the monastery for a few days, surrounded by others who share my passion for God, and yet I still find I miss having a friend. Oblatos Janos and myself seem to be getting along quite well, though perhaps this could blossom into a true friendship if we did something together. I'm sure we would greatly enjoy it. You know what, let's discuss the Bible. I think both of us would greatly enjoy discussing the Bible. Sounds about right. Borja Janos, uh, tr Borja Janos truly enjoyed my suggestion and we have become close friends. We regularly seek each other out during our free time and I'm starting to notice that it affects the focus on my monastic duties. Don't let it affect it too much, will ya? Alright, let's just go up over here to Estagom. Estagom? I think it's pronounced Estagom. Oh, look at that. Slovakia. Modern day Slovakia anyway is rebelling. Hungary's war to revoke Slovakia. Wait a minute, does he want to get rid of the entire... Wait, what is he actually revoking? Am I losing my mind? Is this technically Croatia, uh, Slovakia, but it's just not called that? Yeah, there's certainly nothing here that indicates... You know what? I don't know. Oh, I, oh, the rebellion immediately ended. Now that is good. That is all wonderful. I think I'm just gonna sort this down, I'll be honest with you. The faster this falls, the quicker we can march towards his army, and the quicker we can march towards his army, the quicker we can destroy him. I did not understand fear before, but once you've felt your legs shake and teeth chatter with fear, then it is hard to remain brave. Well, we just randomly lost brave because we have too many traits. This does not make me a coward, does it? Well, there you go. And he wants to hire ruffians to bully the peasants who are not paying their taxes. You know what? Anyway, it's good as long as it's money it is entering the treasury. Absolutely. New realm. Look at you. Kotan... I can't Kaido the Silent of Kotan. Oh look, and he's actually holding on towards being the suzerain. Are you kidding me? How is that even possible? Seriously. Oh, I mean they're both right. They're both uh, children. Not children directly, but descendants of... 
good old Temujin. So I guess that makes a lot of sense, actually, now looking at it. My wife is pregnant, but I was away, wasn't I? Wait a minute, again? How often does this man doubt his wife? Now, this is my second-born son, and I will educa uh, educate him in learning, because that is, of course, what matters now in the life of our dear leader. And I think uh, it makes quite a bit of sense. I have thought it over, and I cannot be the father of my wife, Kunuta's baby. You know what? Hire someone. Last time we didn't find anyone, but maybe it changes this time around. Oh no, don't kill me. I haven't fulfilled one of the goals yet. Or, oh, well, the only goal that I have to uh, fulfill is this character. You cannot get rid of me, please. God, you mustn't. Hello? I can't have a court physician? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Excuse you? What? I can't have a court physician? I have to recruit one? Sure, this very crazy person will be my court physician. Your messengers tell you of a mercenary band that just arrived in Senj. Along with them is the field surgeon Ivan, is known for his ability to rapidly amputate limbs and save the lives of gravely wounded soldiers. Despite the reputation of mercenaries often being greedy, hiring him seems comparatively cheap. It is time that uh, someone saws off my legs, eh? I can already tell. Alright, let's go down there and beat them up. The maid I hired to gain my wife's confidence uh, has not found anything at all suspicious. You know what? Hire more spies. Somebody has to do it. I swear to God, if both of my children are declared invalid. Ah, the spies are hired at great expense to discover anything suspicious about my wife Kanhuta and her pregnancy have failed to turn up anything at all. I guess the child must be mine then. Hmm. Either a very lucky wife, or I'm just a bit paranoid. Without even having the paranoid trait, interestingly enough. Usually you do have it when it comes to these situations. Now where are you running, buddy? Pozzoni? Eh, Pozzoni? Nitria? Ah, there you go, Nitra. I can, I can catch her. There you go. Go get him, boys. The world is a dangerous place, and devious plots are everywhere. Rumors have reached you that people are conspiring to kill your son, Mladen. This is actually worrying. Don't know anything in particular yet, but... Maybe we will indeed find out. I guess you. You are Hungarian. Not the biggest fan of that, of course. I would like my family to rule over our lands. I'll be honest with you. If that were to happen, it would be perfect. Because my family holding all the titles and all the cars, of course, would mean that, well, you know, one of my achievements would finally come true. And isn't that the dream? Oh, that's a difficult name. Jitej? 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 See, somebody actually, they pointed out Jitej. Yitesh. Is it Yitesh? Somebody pointed out that the J is pronounced the same way as in German, which I understand. But now there's a J at the end of the word, and that leaves me... You know, that leaves me very confused, in fact. Now, let's siege this down. Let's make this war into, you know, a uh, final peace deal. And let's never cross this river, be it north or be it south. Neither of us, neither the Hungarians nor the Croatians shall cross it ever again. My liege, it pains me to say, but there is a traitor in the realm. This rotten egg is pl uh, plotting a downfall. I enclose the damning evidence with this letter. Right, I hate you. I don't know if you were fully aware of this, but I definitely do not enjoy you existing. Uh, that is because you, in the past, were the duke of what I took over, eh? You know what? Well, 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 well. Isn't that nice? Oh, look at all these supporters. That's crazy. Where do, where do they come from? The hell is up with all these supporters? How? How did that happen? Can I revoke this? Oh, no. We have a truce, don't we? Yeah, we do have a truce here. Nope, that's Sicily. We do have a truce here until 1296. That's quite long. I have to admit, that is quite long, but, you know, it is what it is, really. Let's keep sieging. Oh, they are actually sieging us down over there, aren't they? Well, not for long. I will cross the river as well, if necessary. That is perfectly fine, seeing as we are clearly superior in numbers. And I'm there with my own family. Might as well, right? Ah, No, Ivan, the unlucky. Not like this. How many family members do we have? 23. There must be enough people to hand out all this land, right? It has to be some. We are still building this temple, 1288. Once this is finished, I can also hand it over. Maybe I should actually hand it over to you, Prince Yurash. Although I'm not even sure that I can do that. I haven't checked in a while when it comes to Gavelkind succession. And handing out titles to people that uh, are eligible. Now, by the way, Grigor. Grigor, Grigor, I assume. Classic name. Uh, this was over. I mean, what can I say? Very much so. Why don't you just dissolve yourself? 
Whatever's up here is the rest of our army, and that is all we need, and the war is almost officially over. Visitor. You have received a visitor, a monk from the famous Great Abbey at Cluny. He tells you that the monks there spend much of their days in devoted prayer, and that they always mention the names of the most pious Christians in those prayers. If you would demonstrate your immense piety by donating a large sum of gold to Cluny Abbey, you would surely be among those pre uh, present in the monks' prayers. Absolutely! Hell yeah! How could I not? We are pleased to hear that you have completed the construction of a new temple in Karlobach. Karlobach. It should go a long way to spread the word of God even further. Signed, Conversus Flan. Isn't that nice? Now let me level up here and let me actually take a look at relatives at my court if possible. Just so that I can, you know, slice and dice them. Hey you, Ugrin. I apparently cannot give you a title. Well that does suck, doesn't it? Hmm, that's because of kind. See, I'm just worrying. We're at four out of six now. I need four people. I need four people. But I can only ever hand it out to three. Hmm. Unless I were, I suppose, to change my laws here. But let us be quite honest. I highly doubt it. I mean, it would be risky just because there's so much time in between now and when I can change it. Oh, look at that. Queen Arpad Amalia has lost Croatia to the Croatians. Now, isn't that the dream? And speaking of dreams, do I still... I'm not a, I'm no longer a tributary, am I? No, I'm not a tributary. That is very good. Very, very good indeed. And I think we can continue this. And who the hell, oh, right. I still have my troops raised. I will put my crown focus down here, of course. That will be and will remain my capital. And I got my hair back. They let me grow back my hair. The time has finally come for me to be officially recognized as King of Croatia. In order to do this, I will need the support of the Catholic Church. But convincing authorita uh, authoritative members will ne neither be easy nor cheap. To begin the preparations, I should find a priest willing to crown me. Well, I guess that's it, because I can't even ask the Pope. Um, what about a tournament as well? Let's just do all of them, okay? And you know what? Why don't we build a grand cathedral in the name of everything that is good and that is right? Hell yeah. Give me the grand cathedral. There you go. We use uh, we gained the rank bronze in the substantial legacy. Oh, substantial. Right, I, I get it. I get it. My wish to become a better Catholic has led me to the rule of St. Benedict. As I have striven to be more like St. Benedict, the, uh, I have also realized that I really, uh, rarely envy the fortune of others anymore. Isn't that nice? Um, can I revoke some of these titles? Hell yeah, I can. You're not, oh, you are a family member. You are not a family member, so I would like to try to get this one. For the family, of course. We are, of course, now also fairly low on money. Now, you know how it is, okay? You know... How it is, but I think we will be all right. Uh, Velia, at least I think that is how I pronounce that. Probably not though. Let's head over there. Let's get rid of him. You know, before anything else happens here. I shall be honored to officiate His Majesty's coronation, provided His Majesty donate a small z sum of money to the Holy Mother Church. Absolutely. And then we're gonna have a dignified ceremony, as you do. Time of my coronation draws near. Only a few more days before I am crowned king before God and all my subjects. My court has been already filled with all the vassals of my realm who have come to bear witness to this fundamental moment of my reign. It will never be soon enough. With so many distinguished guests having travelled all the way to my court, the least I could do is entertain them while we all wait for the day of my coronation. This could also provide me with an opportunity to impress some of my more influential guests. You know what? Hear me, everyone. Let's hold the speech! Whatever doubts I might have had about my performance were completely unfounded. My speech about the duties of a good king or, uh, to his subjects was poignant and extremely well received. Well, I appreciate that. Uh, Bishop Gyorgy's re a pre a presence for my upcoming coronation had led an entire flock of scholars and theologians in my court. While most of them keep their distance from the nobility, I have had the chance to overhear a few of them discussing about the most intriguing metaphysical subjects during the evening. Oh, I would love to actually pick up learning. Make me a god of learning, okay? And also, no, god is still not dead. Stop asking me. God damn it, now we're depressed. It's time to let the tournament begin, and for the next two months, let all show their martial brilliance. Ah, right, I'm gonna revoke this after the tournament is over. Meaning I'm actually gonna get rid of you, and then just let my levy stand here. 
I kneel before Bishop Gergi as a host of vassals surround us in complete silence. The bishop blesses me and places the crown upon my head, proclaiming the king of Croatia by, gra uh, by grace of God. We've done it. Oh, we've done it. Oh no, he's been maimed. Uh, I hope that he lives. He's a, he's okay. I got nothing against him. You know, obviously there's better ones and there's worse ones, but come on. Don't do him dirty like this one, okay? Don't kill him. That's all I'm asking. Sure, you can be here and what about you? Another one hurt, but not a relative this time around. Wounded as well. That's okay, I think. Now we're out of money, which I gladly welcome. It is very nice. Hey, third place. Good job. Second place, Radomir. And then first place, you. Mladen. Nice. Good job. Alright, time to take this title. I have received a letter from my fellow member of the Benedictine Order, Queen Agnes. Dear brother Pavo, will you, as the Christian scholar you are, please offer me some advice on my poetry, or the attempt of it. Reading through the attached documents, there are multiple verses, all in honor of God. You know what? I am missing the comforting as aspects of faith. That's the single best option that you can take. I like that event, don't get me wrong here, but I don't like it. Primarily because, well, it has one correct answer. Everything else is not that good, unless you want to make people hate you. During the last few days, my wife, Queen Kun uh, Kunhuta, has been acting strangely indeed. I have just been informed that her aggressive behavior- Oh no! Behavior and episodes of extreme anxiety have been caused by rabies. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the cold position is going to help her here. Uh, you want me to uh, go into penance? Sure, I can do that. You got a good, you know, successful treatment, but I don't think that's going to help. I was beginning to think that Queen Agnes took offense to my comments, but today I've received a new draft of her work. I'm surprised to find that her words really speak to me. Scribbled in the margin, I can just make out, I implore you, brother, bear with me. It is not finished. Please, stop. Ah, still depressed. Unlucky. Unlucky, but wouldn't it have been nice? I cannot believe that my words could have such an impact on someone, honored Oblatus Pavo. I place a letter on the mantelpiece, the sigil of Ascalian, a friendly reminder of the comfort I feel. I'm lucky to be, about, uh, to be a part of the Benedictine Order. I feel better. <laughs> I like the way it says that. I just feel better, bro. Alright, she passed away. Who could have known? Who could have known? I knew. I knew the entire time. Um, Who of you is interesting? That's the bigger question here. I think none of these are. You're just looking around here. What would any of those truly bring me in terms of benefits? Princess of France, you're way too young. We won't even have any children that could, you know, get a claim on it. Nah, I don't think that is. Maybe the Princess of Bulgaria. You know what? Hey, Bulgaria, would you like to uh, help me destroy Serbia? I need to conquer it for a challenge, you know, and uh, I think we can uh, benefit each other. You get some parts of it. What about this part? And then the southern parts, and then we're good. I think that's fair. I think that is very fair, actually. Now, our, la our name is Tiny, and that can, of course, not stand. We have to do something about it, and we will... Oh, god damn it, Yitesh, don't die. Now, stop trying to torture prisoners, I swear to god. How's my son doing? He's doing fine, he recovered, I like it. I, I like it a lot. I gotta tell you, Zhurash is gonna be a good kid. At least by the looks of it. He won't, he won't like being someone that was brought up, you know, with uh, theological motivation, but... That is just what it is, really. Can't do anything about it. Oh, then again, maybe he will like it, he just won't be good at it. As this game made it abundantly clear, of course, there's a difference between not liking something and being good at something. Today my seclusion begins. Uh, my seclusion begins. I've selected a simple chamber in the castle where I will spend most of my time during the coming months. With those bare walls, I shall do my prayers, read the Bible, and contemplate my life and actions. Let's become a better person. How strange that they gave us back our hair. I love it, because the haircut in the order is horrible, but... Oh, wait a minute. Seriously. Wait a minute, what? But she didn't even get a claim. Oh, that sucks so hard. Ah, uh, I mean, oh, Jesus, what happened to you, Peter? <laughs> right, he existed when we started the game. Oh, I wish I had a claim on Bohemia, that would be amazing. I cannot make sense of this passage of the Bible. The words are archaic and their meaning is deeply hidden by copious layers of symbolism. It would greatly benefit I would greatly no, it would greatly benefit my spiritual development if I discover the text's essence on my own. Although at this point, perhaps I would be better off asking my court chaplain, you know what, let's do it. On our own. We failed. 
The Iron Khan, another great Khan, uh, is on the rise in Central Asia. Timur, called the Lame due to his clubfoot, has proven himself to be uh, to the Turco-Mongol tribes of the region. He seems intent on creating an empire to rival that of the legendary Genghis Khan himself, as he has just finished crushing Kagan Gaikatu of the Ilkhanate in a brutal war. Tens of thousands of skilled horsemen have gathered, gathered under his banner. 100,000 men ready to strike. I'm afraid, I have to tell you. As he's growing older, I can see that Juraj uh, could use some guidance in some of my experienced areas. You know what? I think I'm just gonna make you ambitious. Can't hurt. I mean, it will hurt, most certainly, because he will hate our primary son, but it is what it is, right? Sometimes you just gotta go with the flow. You have been defeated, my friend, and I am taking everything that you know and love. Now, I don't want to hold on to this. The problem is that it is Gavelkind, meaning that we are in a situation where I have to live either for more, 10 more years or I can't hand out the land the way I want to. Nine more years, I suppose. Um, hmm. I'm just gonna, you know, I know you all are kids, but I'll be honest with you. See if I can, okay? <laughs> That's all I can say. See if I care. You all get titles. Every single one of you gets a title. Every single one of you. And now Senj is under our control and they do have a strong claim on Egypt. Wait a minute. What? Oh, my brother is dead. I understand. I could become king of Egypt. <laughs> oh, I hate this. No, I don't want it. I don't want it. She's my queen. Get out of here. Stop giving me that. Alright, there you go. Silver, meaning, where are we? Seven out of eight. I need one more. The Knights Templar have established a new holding in the county of Jaffa. Permission to settle there was granted to them by the noble Duke Grigori of Ascalon. The mighty castle will henceforth be known as Bait De Dejan. See, I'm just so sad, because I would love having one of these children in the church, because it is an easy, you know, entry point there. Now, we will probably be making way less money once this is over, right? I know that St. Benedict was a paragon of temperance, however, I struggle to control my appetite. While doing penance, I am supposed to eat very simple food in small portions, but I'm growing weary. I cannot concentrate when my stomach rumbles like this. You know what? Let's try to deal with our vice here. Which vice even is that? Hmm. Either way, what I really care about is we need to hand out one of our duchies, and I think it's going to be Sirmia. I don't like either of you, I gotta be I gotta be honest with you. Not enjoying the prospect of handing Sermia to any of you. Hmm. What about whom then? I guess. Sure, I'm gonna give it to the kid. There we go. Our future is intertwined. Right, I need one more person. I just need one more person to hold some land and everyone will be happy. Now, I could and I probably should push my claim on Bosnia. If I do that, Hungary will come into the war, but Hungary is fairly weak. I should have the money to, you know, contest them there. Or just take them out outright, you know? It's, it's, it's always one of those things. Sometimes you don't even have to properly contest them if you can just take down the holding immediately. I waited until midnight before I made my way to the kitchens. I found some of my favorite treats in one of the pantries. After many days on the most dreary of diets, they tasted like the most delicious food I have ever had. My appetite is satiated for now, and no one is the wiser. We made some progress, it appears. Alright, I don't think that Hungary is in yet. Yeah, indeed they are not. Why don't we? Uh, we have no commanders? What? I believe that one of your vassals can be discouraged from associating with conspiratorial factions. No, that's okay. We have no commanders, huh? Isn't that amazing? Very strange, I must admit, but is what it is. I've spent the entire day saying prayers in deep concentration. During the first hours, I noticed nothing out of the ordinary, although at some point I lost track of time and entered a dreamlike state. There was nothing but the holy words passing through my lips, and they rang true as the sweetest music. Nice. Let's go. Now let's just take out Bosnia, and then we are in control of even more of Croatia. Although I'm not certain that that will actually make it so that I will get what I need. In this case, you know, uh, enough people in positions. Today has been a day of new insights and revelations. In my seclusion, I have had plenty of time to think about my actions, my life, and my place in this world. Things I had never thought about before suddenly became so clear. God has shown me the light. And you know what God has also shown me? That maybe if Vladislav came to be on the throne, we would be good to go. Even if he doesn't stay on the throne, it would make it so that, you know, I could get away with it and would have enough people on thrones to call this a day. What do you want? 
an alliance. Absolutely, my friend. <laughs> oh, yes. An alliance. I bent over the Bible, trying to make sense of an especially cryptic passage. When a faint tap on the door breaks my concentration, I call for my visitor to enter. To my surprise, little Sohonia's strong-jawed face... Strong-jawed face. I've never heard that description in this entire game. Uh, peeks through the opening. Father, why are you hiding? I miss you. You know what? Why don't you just, uh... Read the Bible with me. Shironia listened attentively as I read. No, Shironia listened attentively as I read from the Bible. After I was done, she had many questions which we discussed thoroughly. While Shironia is still young, uh, too young to grasp the finer nuances, I do think she learned something important. Helping my daughter is truly rewarding. Let's go. She did not become shrewd, but honestly, what if she had? As you're working, my court physician Ivanis, uh, court physician Ivanis, burst into your study. My king, you have been up all night again. It would be in your best interest to not work so hard, lest you shall collapse from exhaustion. Perhaps you're right. I will heed your advice. Absolutely not. Are you out of your mind? I'm already depressed. Who cares? I am no longer cruel. He's done it. I wish to become a better Catholic has led me to the rule of St. Benedict. Studying the works and life of St. Benedict has made me realize the error of my ways. I've promised myself to treat others with less ire and more compassion. Let's go. Oh, she's doing it! Queen Stanislava! That's so brutal! Kaboom. Oh no. Are uh, we still allies? Haha! <laughs> uh, okay, so he did not die. Well. Oh, look at that. We did it. We succeeded. I declare your mission complete. Thank you so much about that. I'm kind. Praise, uh, praise be God. And maybe, you know, despite being kind, maybe I can get rid of King Frederico. Eh, Federico. Come on, do it. God damn it. <laughs> now everyone knows. Everyone knows. <laughs> too many. Wait, what? Still too many El Dutchies. Oh, yeah. Wow. I thought we had only had three, but we held four. Well, in that case, um, I don't know, actually. I don't really want to hand it out to either of you. Come on, do it. The snake will do it. Surely. They've done it. And nobody knows. I mean, they kind of should. But there you go. Gold established. We've done it. We have done it. Hello, child. I would like to... Nope. Okay, well. I mean, he does probably know that I killed his dad. And, you know, of course we are in the same boat, pretty much. But he probably does not appreciate it. Yeah, there you go. We can't actually get him as an ally. But look at this wonderful Shubich family tree. Well... Not really family tree, but you know what I'm talking about. And we've done it. And yet the people think we are kind and good and all those things. Ah, propaganda. Isn't it nice? Now, the thing is that he, he still is in control of the duchy. Uh, you know, that should be under my control. We will eventually, I think, get rid of him. But for the moment, uh, he is part of Croatia. Our name is Tiny. We have to change that in the future. But look at us. And look at Ragusa being tastily open. Are you kidding me? Wait a minute. Seriously, Ragusa. You're just, you're just here like that. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna vassalize you. You're gonna become my merchant republic. Hell yeah. Well, either way, I want to say that this has been quite successful even in this episode. We are building one of the legendary cathedrals of this world. Hopefully, you know, being able to see it through at least the first stage before King Pavo dies. But either way, I'm also a bit disappointed that there's no forging bloodline events. But either way, I want to say thank you for tuning in again. And I want to thank the members of the channel that are making all of this possible. Namely, the Barons, Aaron Stefan, the Richest T and Snowwolf, then the Counts, Emma Mamello, I'm Deadpool, Suspicious Duck, and Kiamelik 2. And last but not least, the amazing Dukes, Nathan, Hermann, Knight of Squires, Kenneth, Lexo, Benedict, Roboman, My Dad Left Me at Arby's, and the absolute legend, Eric. Now, what is going on down here? Not much, huh? Uh, I think he might be winning. Difficult to tell. They have a decent amount of troops as well. Either way, until later, look at this beautiful, almost modern day borders, except a bit more Croatia. I will see you in the next episode. Until then, later. Alligator.